investing in real estate can make you wealthy. We've all heard about the famous real estate investing millionaires and billionaires who live fantastic lifestyles. Today, I'm very excited to help you start with your real estate investing journey. Since you're an aspiring real estate investor who wants to know how to invest in real estate as a beginner, I'll make sure to convert complicated strategies into easy to understand information that anyone can learn and implement. But you might ask yourself, great, but who are you, Walter? Great question. A few years ago, I was also a beginner, but I was actually down and out. I was broke, living in a one-bedroom apartment with my wife and my two babies. I know I had to make a change and quickly, so I saw real estate as the light at the end of the tunnel. I got my start as a real estate agent with no money, and I climbed up the ladder one step at a time. Fast forward a few years, and now I have over $20 million in transactions. I'm an active real estate investor, agent, and I own a multi-million dollar real estate development company. I've done fix and flips, built entire subdivisions with paved roads and utilities, land development, and much, much more. But enough about me. Let's get started with Real Estate Investing for Beginners 101, where we'll go over the basics of how to start investing in real estate. Today, we're beginning with a brief overview of the basic steps that you'll need to start investing with real estate as a beginner, and then we'll go into more detail in other videos. Investing in real estate is definitely a solid way to generate income and build wealth. Here's some basic Six steps to get started. Educate yourself. Learn about real estate investing, market trends, and the different strategies like rental properties, fix and flip, short-term rentals, mid-term rentals, land development, Burr method, and so on. I know what you're thinking, there's so much information out there and it can be confusing. So to make it easier for you, I created a fun little quiz and a free download that'll help you determine what investment strategy works best for you in your personal situation. After the video, check out the description below to find the link. Set your goals. Determine your risk tolerance and write down what you want to achieve. Do you want long-term wealth, monthly cash flow, or maybe you want immediate cash right now with a quick fix and flip? Budget and finance. Assess your financial situation. Are you purchasing the property's cash or do you need a down payment and need a finance arrest? Please note that traditional banks don't usually give loans for fix and flips, so you'll require a more specific one like a hard money loan. Or maybe you have very little money now but have time to find deals and need someone else to finance them. In real estate, it's all about being creative. Be flexible and you can make it regardless of your current situation. Choose your market. Research different areas to find a market that suits your investment goals. Make searching for properties online your new hobby and do it frequently. Explore your city to find what areas you like and what areas you dislike. Visit open houses. Immerse yourself in the world of real estate. I live in Austin, but when I was a real estate investing beginner, I purchased my first properties in San Antonio because it was only a couple hours drive, but the investment amounts and returns made so much sense. When choosing a location, also consider factors like the local economy, real estate trends, population growth, and property values that match your budget and needs. Find the right property. Look for properties that meet your specific needs, whether it's a rental, a fixer-upper, a short-term rental, or something else due diligence, conduct thorough property evaluations, including inspections, appraisal, and review local zoning laws to make sure that you can use your property for your specific needs make the purchase, negotiate and close the deal. Unless there's a bidding war and that property is in high demand, you should always try to purchase the property at a lower price than what the sellers are asking for. Offering five to 10% below asking is pretty common. If the property has been on the market for a long time or it needs a lot of work, you can actually even offer 15 to 20% below asking sometimes even less. Typically, when you offer lower than asking price, the worst thing that can happen is that they come back with a counter offer. Every situation is different, so please use common sense when making your offers. Learning how to negotiate is key to being a successful real estate investor. The better you are at negotiating, the more money and deals that'll come your way. When you're ready to make that formal offer for a property that's online, it'll usually involve a real estate agent and a title company or a real estate lawyer manage the property. If it's a rental, consider whether you're going to be managing it yourself or if you're going to hire a property manager. Unless it's a brand new house or you have lots of free time to waste, I highly recommend hiring a good property manager. Don't do low wage work. Invest your time wisely and only do high income activities and keep learning and growing your portfolio so it's best to outsource a property manager. 
grow your portfolio. As you gain experience and you do many profitable deals, you may reach the point that you're ready to implement other strategies so you can expand your investments to include different type of real estate. Real estate investing involves risks and requires due diligence, patience, and often a significant amount of capital. Always remember to keep growing your real estate knowledge, which will in turn keep growing your bank account. See the description below for helpful resources. Thank you for watching and for more helpful videos about real estate investing, please go ahead and click the subscribe button and check out my next video.